A $25 Banggood Sterling engine, part 3, creating a tiny workshop. Now that the engine is done, I want to put something under it, around it, and I want the engine to drive something. Since I already did those successful tests with the Lego loads, I think I can add some things, maybe a little dynamo or something. So here I salvaged a little bit of wood, which will be the basis for the entire plant. Now the dynamo I salvaged from one of those little torches, which you can recharge by winding in a handle. I super glued two strips of brass to it and a little cap on the end of it. The cap is from a vacuum tube. Now the reason I chose this thing is because the rotor actually lends itself to be uh, belt driven perfectly. That will save me some effort, I hope. After spray painting the plastic with primer and silver paint, here's the end result. Of course I'm gonna need to paint the other parts as well, since the grey plastic looks kinda ugly. And here it is, after painting, looks much better already. Now back to the base plate, of course that needs a paint job as well. I've chosen a deep cherry red. Kind of to give that uh, deep red mahogany feel. And this is what it looks like after several layers of paint. Okay, I think it's time for another test run. This time with the finished dynamo. I've hooked up my oscilloscope so I can see the output of the dynamo as the engine runs. Well, let's try it out. Not much happening there. It seems something must have gone wrong while building this. But what? Okay, this is the moment I have to do a bit of a time skip, if you will. I did film most of the building process, but unfortunately my camera died and I lost a lot of footage. I managed to fix my camera temporarily and this gave me enough time to record the plant in its current state. And this is what you're seeing right now. I also discovered what was wrong with the Sterling engine. While putting the engine back together, I somehow got a piece of metal stuck in the power piston chamber. This piece of metal then ended up scratching the power piston, degrading the engine's performance to the point it would run on its own, but I could forget about running a plant with it. So yeah, I turned it into a solenoid engine, which was my original plan. I added a line shaft, and I also added a little control switch, so I can turn the engine on and off. Okay, enough talking, let's run it. Okay, that's about it for this video. It's a little bit shorter due to technical difficulties, but uh, hopefully those will be resolved soon. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and like and all that fancy stuff. And I'll see you guys next video. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>